We're ready to enter in our dynamics, articulations, and phrasing. And then we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a cleanup of the layout to finish this up. And uh, so um, entering in um, articulations, you'll notice that I've zoomed into 200%. Whenever I'm doing details, I generally like to do that. So let's go over here and we'll open up the articulations. The first thing I notice is that my fermatas are not on all of the notes on, on each of the parts, um, only on the top part. So let's go ahead and fix that first. To enter in any type of articulation, you select the note or notes that you want to enter them to. And you can sell, they can either be on one staff or on multiple staves. And then double click the articulation that you want. And yes, fermatas are considered articulations. Um, if they if you don't like where they are you can just simply click on them and move them around a little bit I thought that was a little too close there um, and so that looks pretty good um, so let we'll go ahead and do that um, uh, later on I can also add in artic you know different articulations I've decided that I think I'm going to do something like this And so you just, again, select the notes, double-click the articulation you want. And so on and so forth. Now, dynamics are a little different. You can click, if you click on your dynamic palette, um, you just simply click and drag them in where you'd want them. Now notice that there's this dotted line indicating which staff it's attached to and that's very important because if you don't attach it to the correct staff when you extract your parts um, the dynamic will be missing on a particular part. Okay, So that's all it takes to put in the dynamics. Um, if I want to do phrasing, phrases are actually quite easy. Let's go back up here actually. Let's say that I wanted this note to be slurred. Just click on the first note, press the S key, and it puts in a slur for the next note. So let's say I wanted them. If you need it to be a longer slur, let's say I decide I want this long, last phrase to be phrased, uh, the whole measures to be phrased. I'll click on the note. There we go. Okay, and then you can just drag these handles along. Okay. And you can move the where they start if you'd like. You can change the arc by clicking on the handles and dragging them up and down. Right, so I'm going to go through and add in the rest of my phrasing and dynamics, and then we'll take a look at finishing the format. I've added in my articulations, dynamics, and phrasing for this. Uh, but there's one last thing I'd like to add, and that would be a, a decrescendo towards the end. And so I'm just going to click on the, uh, it's in the under the lines palette. I'm going to click on that and just kind of drag it right there. Once you place it in, you can move it around just by clicking on it. And so we will go ahead and have a decrescendo here. Now you'll find that you may have to make some adjustments and again maybe I want to zoom in a little bit to clean that up down there because you see it's things are getting a little tight you don't want things overlapping so you might have to flatten out your slurs arc a little bit and move things around just a little bit to get them to line up nicely Dynamics don't have to line up perfectly to your crescendo um, or decrescendo, but it's not a bad idea to try to get them fairly close. This is looking pretty good, but there's just a couple of things I need to do to finish it up. Let's start out first by adding in a tempo mark. Uh, click on the note where you'd like the tempo mark to be placed, and then you can go up to the Create menu, select Text, Select Tempo, and you notice that there is a shortcut command option, T. And then you can go ahead and choose your tempo. Let's just go ahead and Adagio sounds just fine here. Um, you can move it around once it's been placed in there. 
Now to finish up our score, I'd like to do a couple of things. You'll notice that it's not quite balanced here. I've got four measures here, five measures here, and three measures here. Well, obviously I'd like to move this down. Um, if every me if your each uh, system has exactly the same measures, you can either do that in a plug-in um, by break every four x measures. Um, but probably the easiest way to do it when we this is not quite even uh, because we have a pickup measure and this would count this as five measures. So instead, what we have to use is breakers, uh, breaks and spacers, and this is a system space or a line space, and you just simply click and drag it onto the last measure of your system, and it puts a break, and you can see that now we've balanced that out nicely. I would like the bar lines to be going all the way through this score, and so to get that to happen, I need to double click on the bar line, and it'll give me a handle, and you just click and drag it down, and it does it for that one, but then you can see it did it for all of the systems too, and so that makes that look a little nicer. And then finally, we need to add a bracket for this, and so of course that's under the brackets palette, and so we'll just click and we'll drag that onto the flute, double click it, just like we did with the bar line, and drag it down, and there we have it. And so there's our score.